pandemic has created many unknowns for small businesses, including who would run your business? You became sick with the coronavirus, and how can you sell your company if you need to in the middle of a pandemic? Sharon Epperson joins us now with more on how small businesses are managing uh, through some tum tough issues during the crisis. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Joe. Yeah, very tough time for many small businesses. New data, though, from Wilmington Trust, exclusive to CNBC, finds nearly 60 percent of small business owners say at least one positive aspect has emerged from managing through the COVID-19 pandemic, and they'll maintain that going forward. For some entrepreneurs, that may mean working remotely or better communication with their employees. And for others, it could be creating a plan for what would happen if another unexpected event impacts their business. Adrian Fudge's small business serves food to those in need. 40 Dreams Catering provides meals for senior citizens and disabled adults throughout New Jersey. But losing a loved one made her think more about her future and the future of her business. With, you know, the passing of my father, things are, have been brought home very quickly. And, and I realized, like, not only do I need to do, put things in place for myself, I also need to put things in place for my employees um, because life is short. She says working with a nonprofit organization that connects entrepreneurs with financial advisors has helped. You're putting your livelihood and often for people their, their largest or second largest asset at risk by not thinking about all of the what ifs. Many small business owners never plan for who could own or manage their business if they're unable to do so. And a recent survey found that only about half of those that do have those plans in place are highly confident that their business will be able to survive. Is your plan documented somewhere? Have you expressed your plan to other people, specifically those that are, that are named in the plan? Um, have you taken the time to prepare them? And, and have you revisited your, your plan to make sure it still meets your, your current circumstances? Adrian Fudge says she'll have her sister run the catering company if she can't do so, and she plans to bring her small team up to speed soon on that plan as they continue to drive the business forward, Joe. So, Sharon, minority women-owned businesses particularly hard hit uh, during all this. How have they dealt or how would you deal with succession planning? Yeah, what's interesting in this new d data from Wilmington Trust's business outlook they are saying that minority business owners are more positive about finding some aspect of the pandemic that they have managed through that they're going to continue going forward. They're more uh, likely to say that than non-minority business owners. What's interesting, though, when it comes to women business owners is what aspect of that getting ready for what could happen if they're doing right now. Women business owners say they're not as confident as men in terms of having an ownership transition plan, but they're actually more confident than men in having a management transition plan. The issue is you need to have both aspects of that as you're planning for what would happen if something unexpected happened to your business. And the reason why it's so important, both Jill Johnson and Marguerite Weiss said, it's important to make sure that you have all of those aspects so that you can continue to grow, scale, and then exit your business, get greater access to capital from investors, and perhaps be able to get a profit when you sell that business. It's just hard to do, Sharon. It's like, you know, it is it's hard. Like, it's like it life hard. insurance. It's like, I don't want any life insurance because I don't ever want it to pay off. No one wants to think about it. No, right. I don't. Right. No. But seven, eight months ago, no one wanted to think about this. Right. So we need to plan Got ahead, to. you know, personally and for our business. Absolutely. You're right. so that's useful. And we need Thanks, to emphasize Joe. that. Thanks, Sharon. Um, by the way, CNBC and Acorns are teaming up with the Kauffman Foundation for a virtual a town hall for small business owners on September 30th. Also September 3rd. Oh, that's right, Chef. For more info and to register, go to townhall.cmbc.com.